Hello, welcome to today's live lesson here on the Speak English with Vanessa YouTube channel. I'm Vanessa and I'm so glad that you're here to learn English with me. Today we're going to talk about a useful, commonly used phrasal verb. I know phrasal verbs can be tricky or difficult, but today we're going to focus so much on this phrasal verb that you will not forget it. <laughs> and it's perfect for the Christmas season, for birthdays, for your job, for daily life. We use this all the time. So I hope that today's phrasal verb will be useful for you and you'll be able to use it as much as possible. So if you are new here today, I recommend introduce yourself in the comments. Tell me where are you from? And if you want to give some extra information, I'm curious, why are you interested in learning English? Is it because of your job, because you want to travel, just because English is your dream? Tell me why are you interested in learning English? And if you are new, I want to recommend to you after this lesson to download my free ebook, Five Steps to Becoming a Confident English Speaker. This will help you continue to learn with me and know what is the next step for your English journey because there's so many options. You could take a class, you could just watch YouTube videos, you could move to the US, you've got a lot of options for becoming a confident speaker. But in this ebook, I give you five steps, five tips so that you can speak confidently because that is the base, the most important thing is confidence. Vocabulary is good, grammar is good, but confidence is number one. So I hope that you have a chance today to read the free ebook. The link is in the description of this video, and I hope that you can also learn something useful with today's phrasal verb. Thank you so much if you're joining me live. I appreciate it. Amal from Morocco is here. Perfect. Perfect. Zoe says, I want to study English because it's very interesting. This is just your passion. Great. Great. Alavo from Sao Paulo, Brazil. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. Out oh, from the Czech Republic. Excellent. Radek, welcome. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad that you are interested in improving your English and learning naturally. Today, we're going to talk about a phrasal verb. But first of all, I'm going to use it in a sentence. And I want to see if you can guess what this phrasal verb means. Are you ready for a little test? A little quiz. <laughs> There's no grade. It's not, you're not going to get a big red X if it's wrong, but I want to ask you first to see if you can guess. So my sample sentence, my first sample sentence is, I'm trying to come up with a good idea for a present for my dad for Christmas. I'm trying to come up with a good idea for a present for my dad for Christmas. What does this phrasal verb come up with? Come up with mean. Can anyone tell me what do you think it is? Mm. Oh. Navjot has a good idea. He says to think of something like a plan or idea. Oh, Sama says come up means to suggest. So when I say come up with, after with, we're going to add the thing that you're trying to think about. Come up with, have a good idea. Yes, Juyan has a great idea to have a good idea for a present. I'm trying to come up with a good idea for a present. So 
I'm going to write here in my notebook or in my on my notepad. I hope that it will be useful for you so that you can see the sentence at the same time. We might say, I'm trying to come up with YouTube video ideas. So every day, every day, I'm trying to think about, to think of some new ideas so that you can improve your English. And today, I came up with the idea to teach you about come up with. <laughs> so this means, yes, we've got a lot of great uh, answers here in the comments. To plan something, to find something, to figure out something. So the, the closest connection is to say, to think of something. So I'm always trying to think of, to invent, yes, Martin, to invent or create some new ideas for YouTube. But because this is the holiday season, the Christmas season here in the US, typically we buy presents for our family and our close friends. So I'm always trying to think of, to think of good presents for my family. I'm trying to come up with good ideas for my family. And it's not always easy. So my question for you, I want you to be able to use this expression. I want to know who is it difficult to come up with a present idea for? So we might say, for me, it's my dad. It's difficult to come up with, it's difficult or it's hard to come up with a present idea. A present is the same as a gift. Present idea for my dad. <laughs> so I want to know for you, in your life, who is it difficult to come up with a present idea for? Who is it difficult to come up with a present idea for? Maybe for their birthday, or maybe in your country you give presents on a different holiday. Maybe for New Year's or for another holiday during the year that's important for your country. So I want to know for you, who is it difficult to find a present idea for, to come up with? So for me, this is, for me, this is my dad. It's difficult to come up with a present idea for my dad. Or maybe for you, it's difficult to come up with a present idea. Oh, Dimitri says, come up with a present idea for my wife. Oh, oh Natcha has a different idea. He says, sometimes I have a hard time coming up with ideas to write for my English essays. Oh, excellent. So for you, the ideas for your essays are difficult. That's challenging. Fernando says, it's difficult to come up with a present idea for my girlfriend. Oh, lots of people, girlfriends, wives. Patrick says, my mom. Christian says, my mom. Renato says, oh, for my wife, it's very difficult to come up with a present. Oh, oh. and Chu Young says, I think I'm saying your name correctly. Chu Young, yes. It's difficult to come up with how to make my mom happy on her birthday. It's difficult to come up with a way to make my mom happy on her birthday. Ah, some people are really difficult like that, huh? <laughs> oh, Eliana says, today's my sister's birthday. Oh, so I have to come up with a good present for her. Beautiful way to use this sentence. 
I have to come up with a good present. And today's her birthday, so you don't have much time. <laughs> Maybe after this, you should think of something quick. <laughs> ah, Siri Kanda, I hope I said that correctly, said, it's difficult to come up with research ideas. With research ideas. Mm. Sure, so it's difficult to come up with ideas for your uh, your school or for things that you have to write about. That's always a challenging thing. What should I write about? For me, what should I make videos about? What should I make the next lesson about? How can I make it interesting? I need to come up with a lot of ideas. And you too, in daily life, we have to come up with present ideas, with Dinner ideas, what am I going to eat tonight? Dinner ideas with fun ideas for your kids, maybe. What games are we going to play? You have to come up with some weekend activities. Oh, Navjo says, I need to come up with new plans to organize my schedule. Beautiful. Yes, I need to come up with new plans. And Osama says, I have to come up with new methods to learn English. Yes, especially if your previous method didn't help very much. It's time to come up with new methods, to think of new methods, create, find new methods. Yes, great idea. <laughs> oh, Sam says, it's difficult to come up with a present for my friend's birthday. It's difficult to come up with a present for my friend's birthday. So if you haven't noticed so far, this phrasal verb sticks together. We don't split this phrasal verb. Come up with it. Come up with a present. Some phrasal verbs we can split, and in the middle we can put another word. But this phrasal verb is going to stick together. There's three parts of it, come up with, and they need to stay together. So I hope today with today's repetition, it's understandable for you and useful for you so that you know, yes, it's going to stay together. Vanessa said it all together for the whole lesson. so. I've never heard it separated, so I'm not going to separate it. That's the best way to learn, just through natural understanding, because we've used it that way so many times. Oh, Paul has a great idea. He says, I need to come up with new ideas to improve my business. Oh, this is a constant challenge, but it's fun to be creative. So you can do it, Paul. Great. <laughs> oh, oh, Martin says, it's easy to come up with ideas. What's hard is to make money to buy a lot of gifts. Uh -huh. So it's easy to come up with gift ideas, but it's hard. We can even use this to say it's hard to come up with the money. And this means to get the money. This is a second way that we could use this. It's very similar. It's hard to come up with ideas, or it's easy to come up with ideas, but it's hard to come up with the money. This is a similar idea. You're finding the money. You're trying to create, where can I get the money for the present? But it's more physical. Come up with the money instead of come up with the idea. Oh, Hugo says, I need to come up with ideas to get better grades. Yes. Sometimes those things are difficult. <laughs> oh, Isma says, I need to come up with maybe better ways to improve my accent in English. Better ways to improve my accent. Oh, Martin has a good question. Martin said, I heard you say, if you noticed so far. What does so far mean? So far means until this point. So from the beginning of our lesson at nine o'clock until now, 9.17, in the last 17 minutes, I didn't split come up with. I kept it together. So until this moment, 
I haven't split it at all. Or we could say, so far, I haven't split this expression. Let me write this down so that we can take a little look at it. I think this is a great expression to add to this. Uh, so far, I didn't split it until this point. So we could say two things here. I hope, Martin, this will help to answer your question. So far, I didn't split the phrasal verb. Until this point, for the last 17 minutes, I didn't split the phrasal verb. So I hope that will be useful for you. Renato says, I need to come up with an idea. I need to come up with a plan to win a football game. Oh, are you the, the coach or are you the leader of the, the football team? I hope for you, you can come up with a great idea. So you can see so far, we've used this in such a variety of ways. We've used this for a ton of ideas because in life, we have to come up with so many ideas on a daily basis. Come up with ideas for winning your football game. Come up with ideas for uh, a present for your girlfriend or come up with ways to improve your English. We are always thinking this is our strength as humans. We can constantly create and invent and improve. We are constantly coming up with new ideas. Usually it's a good thing, <laughs> not always, but typically it's a good thing. And you can use this expression in all of those situations. So let's pretend that you have a business meeting. Maybe you need to use English at your job. You could say, uh, in front of your coworkers, in front of your boss, today we are going to talk about our marketing strategy. And during this business meeting, we need to come up with three new ideas for how we can market our company better. Great, this is professional, this is clear, and we use this in daily conversation. So phrasal verbs aren't necessarily too casual for business. We use them all the time. So I hope you can use this in daily life. You could use this with your friends if you speak English with them and say, hey, I need to come up with an idea for my wife's birthday. What should I do? <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's tomorrow or it's today. It may be a little too late. <laughs> but you can come up with an idea with someone else. So I hope that this phrasal verb isn't too overwhelming for you anymore. Sometimes when we see three-part phrasal verbs come up with, it can feel like it's too much. Oh, there's too many words to remember together. But I hope for you, you will not forget this. You will be able to use this. And before we go today, let's say one full sentence together. I want you, as long as you feel comfortable, if you're somewhere quiet, I want you to say it out loud with me so that you can hear your voice using English and using this expression as well. So are you ready? <laughs> are you ready to say a sentence with, come up with, with me? Wow, I used with a lot in that sentence. <laughs> but let's say this sentence all together. Hmm, what should our sentence be? Let's make it really good. Oh, okay. Are you ready? Exercise your muscles. I'm gonna say it slowly and then a little more quickly. Let's say, I'm going to come up with an idea to improve my English this month. I'm going to come up with an idea to improve my English this month. Ready to say it out loud one more time? I'm going to come up with an idea 
to improve my English this month. And quickly, I'm going to come up with an idea to improve my English. I'm going to come up with an idea to improve my English this month. Maybe it means for you, you're going to join these live lessons. Maybe it means you're going to download my free ebook. In the comments below, you can do that. I hope you enjoy it. Or maybe for you, that means I'm going to join a course this month and see how it goes. If you'd like to join my monthly course, the Fearless Fluency Club, I recommend it. You can join for the month of December. Try it out. This can be your way to come up with a new idea to help you really improve your English. The best way to join the Fearless Fluency Club is to, I will put a link in the bottom down here, to go to speakenglishwithvanessa.com slash fluency and you'll be able to join our wonderful community and you can always continue to join these live lessons here on YouTube. So thank you everyone for exercising your muscles for really using English today and I hope that when you need to come up with the right expression for your sentence, you will be able to come up with it instantly because we practiced it so much today. <laughs> so I hope for you, you enjoyed learning this phrasal verb and I hope you have a beautiful week. Today is the beginning of the week, but you can do it. We've got a lot of great things to talk about and learn this week. I hope you can think of some good ways to improve your English. I hope you can come up with some good ways to improve your English. Have a beautiful week. I'll see you again on Tuesday. Next week, maybe I had said Thursday earlier. Tuesday. <laughs> I'll see you on Tuesday. And if you'd like to download my free ebook, Five Steps to Becoming a Confident English Speaker, it's yours for free. You don't need to come up with what you are going to do next because I have provided for you a guide. This is your guide to help you know what can I do to be a confident English speaker. I have come up with five steps for you and it's yours. So I hope that for you, you can enjoy it and have a beautiful week. I'll see you again the next time. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.